Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sane's Academy. In the previous video, you had seen the pipeline syntax and importance of usage of pipeline in scikit-learn. If you haven't watched that video, then I encourage you to watch it, the link of which has already been given in the description box of this video. In this video, you will see the usage of pipeline in grid search. Let us see that. So here we are going to use the same code or rather I can say we are going to edit the same code which was there in the earlier video. So hence in the earlier video as you had seen that we had done the train test split. Then on the train set we had done the dot fit. Actually the operation is in the following way that actually dot fit scale dot fit and transform is on the trend set and on the test set dot transform is there now the transformed trend set is taken for the model building and afterwards the transformed test set is taken for prediction now everything i had said that time that it is managed by the pipeline syntax and hence we had seen the pipeline syntax in the following way so what we had done was we had created the pipeline with first operation as standard scalar and the second operation as support vector machine and we had done the trend test bit. now let us apply k-fold cross validation and grid search options similarly Hence, as you see in line number 3 and line number 4, in place of trend test bit import, I have replaced it with statified k-fold import and grid search cv import. Similarly, now we require to instantiate statified k-fold and the grid search. Let's do that. Hence, the stratified k-fold has been instantiated. Now we require to create the parameter okay now for this params dictionary or parameters dictionary we require the keywords which we should use in our grid search this time the grid search is not going to just involve the svm but it is also going to involve standard scalar basically it is going to be a pipeline so we will specify this pipeline instead of specifying the SVM. Now if we happen to specify this pipeline, we should first of all see the availability of the keyword params which we can use for parameters. For doing that, let us call as you see in my console window as you see that I am calling get underscore params function and hence we get the get underscore params function output in which instead of just c we require to call svm underscore underscore c why this because this time the SVM is not alone. It is accompanied with standard scalar. SVM object in this case is a part of pipeline syntax. And in pipeline syntax, it has the identifier as SVM which we had given when we had declared it. So hence is the significance of this SVM, the term which we give in the pipeline syntax. So notice one thing that when we are going to specify any syntax for parameters it should be the word the string which we had specified in the pipeline double underscore and then c let me refer to the earlier code in one of the earlier videos which i had used for demonstrating the grid search 
this happens to be one earlier code in which I had specified the params as C 0.001, 01, etc. and gamma. Now, similar such params if I happen to have over here, I cannot specify it with C. Rather, I need to specify it with SVM underscore underscore C. So, I will replace this C with SVM underscore underscore C. Notice the double underscore in between. Also, in place of gamma, I require to write, I rather require to suffix SVM underscore underscore. Hence, the parameters have been defined. Now, one more thing. Instead of specifying SVM over here as we had specified earlier, if you haven't watched the video related to grid search, you can watch it, the link of which also will be given in the description box. Now, instead of SVM, we will specify pipe SVM, otherwise, it may result into error. Now, pipe SVM will take care that every time with every fold with every fold combination the same pipeline that is dot fit transform on the trend set dot transform on the test set will happen well before the training happens before the dot fit happens fit transform will be happening with every fold combination that all with all the five folds will be taken care by this research with pipeline now let's execute this code and hence is our output. Notice one more thing that in the earlier output with the same data set with same fold combinations we had a lesser best score than this one. You want to see that? Let's see it. So this was the previous code without pipeline and without scaling and if I happen to run this you will find the best params and the best score were 0.67 the best score was 0.6733 and this time the best score is 0.84455 a big improvement it is so hence while using some of the algorithms like SVM, nearest neighbor or some few more other like neural network, scaling is required and when scaling is required, the usage of pipeline syntax will be more important. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Also, any suggestions or feedback you have, please put it in the comment section of this video. I will encourage you to try this same code or on any other data set and any other algorithm also which requires scaling. For more updates from me, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.